Hello there, good morning to you and welcome to another um, of our Open Heavens Daily Devotional for today, Friday the 23rd of July. And this morning we'll be looking at the topic that says, When Revival Comes. The Bible text is taken from Psalms 85, we read from verse 4 to 7. It says, Turn us, O God of our salvation, and cause thy anger towards us to cease. Will thou be angry with us forever? Will thou draw out thine anger to all generations? Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Shew us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. Our memory verse is taken from that same scripture, Psalms 85, but I'll be reading verse 5 again for emphasis. And it says, Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? indeed so this morning our topic says when revival comes so i'd like us to first look at the word revival um, revival comes from the word revive and literally speaking um, to revive something means to bring something back to life to give it life again and when we look at christianity when we look at it from a christian angle Revival means a general increase in your fervency, your dedication, your hunger for God. It means an increase in that hunger, in that dedication towards the things of God. And um, one, there, are, there are some few points we can pick out from the Bible text where we read this morning. Now, one of them is that when there is revival, it, it tells us that people turn, turn from their evil ways. People seem to stop to do what they what they usually would normally do that would 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 bring about evil and they begin to do things that are better begin to make better and informed decisions and and with that it bets what we call salvation and there's 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 a there's an outflow there's an outflow of salvation when when there is revival in an environment, remember when, when, when I started, I said revival is bringing back to life. So bringing back to life your Christian life, bringing back to life what seemingly has been dead, those good things that have been dead in you. Now, the next thing that we, we can see or we can understand when revival happens is that there are answers to prayers. There are increased answers to prayers. Your prayers get answered. And um, but more importantly... Aside the fact that your prayers get answered, more importantly is the fact that the prayers of unbelievers too are answered. Now, now let's look at Second Chronicles chapter 33 from verse 12 to 13. He says something. He says, And when he was in affliction, he besought the Lord his God and humbled himself greatly before the God of his fathers and prayed unto him, and he was entreated of him and heard his supplication, and brought him again to Jerusalem into his kingdom. Then Manasseh knew the Lord, knew that the Lord, he was God. So when, when there is revival, God brings his ears down to the unbeliever and hears the cry of the unbeliever and brings them out of their, their sin, brings them out of whatever, whatever um, issues they, they might be facing. So number one, we've learned that Revival makes people turn from their evil and bets brings about salvation. It brings back to life salvation. And secondly, God, prayers are answered. Prayers, people get answers to their prayers quickly. And finally, one true, true, one way to actually know if there is revival, if there is a genuine revival, is when you depart from your evil way. When when people are depart from their ungodly lifestyle. Have you been living an ungodly lifestyle? Have you been doing something that is not in cognizance with what God has what God has ordained you to do? One way to know that God has brought about revival is when people turn away from their ungodly lifestyle. I'd like to pray for you this morning that as many as many of us that are listening to this message that, that have not turned away from our ungodly lifestyle, that God will bring about a revival to you. God will bring about a revival in every area and every aspect of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to trust that you have had an amazing encounter this morning. If you've not liked, if you've not shared, just go ahead, click the like button, share to your neighbors, share to your friends, and even your enemies, share and let the revival go through. God bless you and do have an amazing day.